Hello and welcome back to another video from Young Scientist. Today we are going to talk about cryogenic engines and fuels. So what are cryogenic engines? So cryogenic engines are the engines who use cryogenic fuels. These cryogenic fuels are gases stored like hydrogen stored in the form of liquid in very low that is super cool temperatures. Generally, liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen abbreviated as LOX and LH2 respectively. From there, they are pumped into turbo pump by individual booster pumps to ensure a high flow rate of propellants inside the combustion chamber. But wait, why cryogenic fuel? Why liquid? And why hydrogen and oxygen? First of all, if hypothetically the fuel was stored in the form of gases under pressure, it would require a huge size of tank to actually do it that in turn will not be efficient for a space adventure. Thus, the liquid fuel, the super cooling of the liquid is done in order to have a high mass flow rate, which in turn boosts rocket's efficiency. And as for why only liquid hydrogen and oxygen? They both are the best combination for highest efficiency there is. That's why another advantage of cryogenic fuel is that it provides more thrust, that is force, with every kilogram of the fuel getting burned. In simple words, the more the fuel gets burned, the more the force exerted, thus making it more efficient again. ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization, over the past few years has made remarking progress, not only in terms of achieving remarkable feats, but also doing them cost efficiently. But there was delay in the progress of India's cryogenic feats because of the events that happened in late 1980s. The United States had objected the transfer of cryogenic technology to India as it was not a member of MTCR, Missile Technology Control Regime and NPT, Non-Proliferation Treaty. So, ISRO faced the challenge to build an indigenous cryogenic engine of its own. It was a task, not an easy one, because of various complexities involved. ISRO in the first decade of 21st centuries faced three failures. One based on Indian engine while other two engines were of Russian design. After constantly learning from failures, ISRO finally launched GSLV on January 5, 2014. From January 2014, the vehicle has achieved four consecutive successes. GSLV MK2 is the largest launch vehicle developed by India which is currently in operation with growing bigger than ever. We hope ISRO will achieve more success in the future. What more would you like to know? Write down in the comments below the topic you would like to get more informed on. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share this video with other space enthusiasts like you. Subscribe for more such videos. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. Goodbye and Jai Hind.